The Ukrainian community here in the Delaware Valley is struggling to make sense of this deadly plane crash and the fighting in their homeland. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabao has that part of the coverage. Ukrainian Americans throughout the Philadelphia region left stunned today after nearly 300 people die when a passenger plane is shot down over their home country. Shock and mourning and anger over the events yesterday in eastern Ukraine. I call it international terrorism. Bodan Pashenyak moved to America 16 years ago, but still has family and friends in Ukraine. I have very good friends back there, and some of them are fighting. Fighting pro-Russian separatists. Other friends, he says, live in fear in the eastern part of the country where they've taken hold. They're afraid that they will get killed if they show that they don't support them. It's an outrage. Daniel Friedheim, a Drexel assistant teaching professor of history and politics, says what happened with the passenger jet is a wake-up call that will have a global impact. It means it's going to change the way all European countries conduct their, their politics, their trade. It's not about being Russian versus Ukrainian. It's about people versus criminals and uh, inhumane terrorists. And happening tonight right here on the Ben Franklin Parkway at the Ukrainian flag, a vigil, a chance for Ukrainian Americans to express their sympathy and a chance, they say, to ask for a full and impartial investigation into the crash. Reporting in Center City, Jan Carabao, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And stay with Eyewitness News as we continue to follow this investigation into who shot down the Malaysian Airlines plane. When we're not on the air, you can go online to cbsphilly.com.